So here's a quick video with the charger on. Um, so I've got it on low at the moment and it's charging this scooter battery over there. Um, it's also running through a um, energy meter. So this will help me know how many kilowatt hours are going in. I can probably try and uh, convert that into amp hours. Um, roughly. So yeah, I measured the volts um, on the battery and in low mode it's at 13 point something and in high mode it's at 15 point uh, 7. So I'm not sure what the best mode to charge these in but since they've been sat for a while maybe low mode and honestly I, I just don't know. But it's kind of useful that it's uh, a 24 volt as well so I might parallel some of these batteries up, uh, sorry, series them up into twos. Could do a sit in them all in parallel for a bit first, get them all equalized. Sorry about the plane. But yeah, this, uh, this might be a viable setup because I could control the on off from actually uh, a three pin uh, energy monitoring Toya switch and just have it charge at night um, on the cheap rate um, or even just charge if I know I'm like today I'm producing a load of solar right now I'm in the shade but if I actually look that way it's quite bright so yeah I've got six of those um, and so I'll do a 3P2S with that and they're supposed to be 60 amp hours, but there's no way, no way near that capacity left in them now. The reason I've got six is that at one time I had four of these Emac scooters, and um, some that I sold without batteries, and some that I, uh, and so I've kind of got one and a half scooters worth of battery left because they were 48 volt um, packs, but that's left me with uh, 48, 60, 72 volts worth of uh, lead acid which yeah anyway thank you for watching um see you next time